It's a nice Sunday morning, and on this show, we like to read you a random Bible chapter. That's right. Let's start off the week here on the first day of the week with a random Bible chapter. Because a verse, I just, you know, sometimes you need like two or three verses and then it'll just turn into a chapter anyway, so you just mine as well. So let's go ahead and get a, get a random chapter for this morning. Amos 1. All righty. Here we go. Amos 1. The words of Amos, who was among the shepherders from Tekoa, which he envisioned in visions concerning Israel in the days of Uzziah, king of Judah, and in the days of Jeroboam, son of Joash, king of Israel, two years before the earthquake. He said, The Lord roars from Zion, and from Jerusalem he utters his voice, and the shepherds' pasture grounds mourn, and the summit of Carmel dries up. Thus says the Lord, for three transgressions of Damascus, and for four, I will not revoke its punishment, because they threshed Gilead with replenishments of sharp iron. So I will send fire upon the house of Haziel, and it will consume the citadels of Ben-Hadad. I will also break the gate bar of Damascus, and cut off the inhabitant from the valley of Avin, and him who holds the scepter from Beth Eden. So the people of Aram will go exiled to Ker, says the Lord. Thus says the Lord, for three transgressions of Gaza and for four, I will not revoke its punishment because they deported an entire population to deliver it, it, to deliver it upon Edom. So I will send fire upon the wall of Gaza and I will consume her citadels. I will also cut off the inhabitant from Ashdod and him who holds the scepter from Ashkelon. I will even unleash my power upon Ekron, and the remnant of the Philistines will perish, says the Lord God. Thus says the Lord, for three transgressions of Tyre and for four, I will not revoke its punishment because they delivered up an entire population to Edom and did not remember the covenant of brotherhood. So I will send fire upon the wall of Tyre and it will consume her citadels. Thus says the Lord. For three transgressions of Edom and for four, I will not revoke its punishment because he pursued his brother with the sword while he stifled his compassion. His anger also tore continually and he maintained his fury forever. So I will send fire upon Teman and it will consume the citadels of Bozrah. Thus says the Lord for three transgressions of the sons of Ammon and for four, I will not revoke its punishment because they ripped open the pregnant woman of Gilead in order to enlarge their borders. So I will kindle a fire on the wall of Rabbah, and it will consume her citadels amid war, war cries in the day of battle, and a storm on the day of tempest. Their king will go into exile, he and his princes together, says Yahuwah. Amen. Amen. This is one that I want to like. I want. I want to just like learn the history behind this. There's probably so much history in this right here to unpack. Oh man, who's got somebody? Leave me a link about some Amos one teachings. I want to know some history back here. I thank you guys for joining me this morning. This is the random Bible chapter. <laughs> 